ability to tell stories. When did the journalism part come into your life? Well, it's always been in my life. I've never quite known why. Ever since I can remember, age four, five, maybe six years old, I always said I wanted to be a reporter. I think that came from the fact that my, my parents, my mother and father, were both avid newspaper readers. And I think somewhere in my small developing mind, they were so interested in the newspapers, they read newspapers, and they talked about newspapers, television, the existing time, listen to radio. Mm -hmm. So I, I think I began to think it was important, and I wanted to do something important in my life. So I've always dreamed of being a reporter. Yeah, and you did announcing on the radio. You announced sports as well. You called games. And then in 1959, crossed over into that thing with sound and pictures, <laughs> television. Well, I was slow to get on to television. I was so happy doing radio at KTRH Radio here in mm -hmm. Houston, which was a big 50,000-watt station. And I did uh, football and baseball play-by-play, uh, -play, and I was very happy. But uh, I had a wife and one young daughter with a young son on the way. And so my wife said, well, maybe you better take a look at it. It might pay another $10 a week, which it did. <laughs> and so I moved to what was then uh, KHOU channel. It was actually yeah, which, K which is KHOU, yeah. which is where we are today. Right. I want to give you something here. Okay, there is a building right there. You can't see up close, but there was a, a spot there on the front porch. We recently renovated our building. And when we did, this is what came out of that front wall. I don't know if you remember these right here. But this right here is the CBS symbol that was in front of our building. And we would like for you to have that. So. Well, thank you very much. Thank you, thank you, thank you very much.